Hi, you're watching another Honest Review and today I wanted to share with you my new favourite makeup product of the moment. It's Max Factor's Lash Crown Mascara um, and I bought this one a few months ago when I was in the supermarket. Um, it's about £11 uh, in the UK. I liked it from day one uh, because it has given me just consistently even coverage. These days, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I've never been brilliant when it comes to applying makeup. In fact, some of the choices that I've sported on this channel over the years have attracted quite a bit of negative comment. So um, now I do everybody a favor and I just wear a foundation, a bit of blusher, highlighter, lipstick, and um, mascara. So mascara is all important. And if you watch this channel regularly, you will have heard me moaning on about my droopy eyelids as well. So what I tend to do is um, just go as big as I can on the mascara while still trying to aim for a kind of semi-natural look. So I'm always looking for something that just lifts and defines and doesn't clog. And that's exactly what this does. So it's slightly different um, from your average mascara brush. It's got kind of fewer uh, brush prongs on it, if you like, brush heads. The smaller, the shorter ones are there for uh, volume from the base. And then you've got that crown tip on the other side, which helps you define the lashes at the end. Um, and I've got this one in black brown. It also comes in black. There's a waterproof version of it as well. Um, I don't use, this This one isn't waterproof, but I have to say it just has never run. It doesn't flake. Um, genuinely the best mascara that I've ever used. And as I say, I've been using this for months, um, probably bought it back in March and it's July now. Let me show you what it's like to apply. So I'm gonna try and put this on for you now so you can see the effect. And this is where I, for one time in my life only, try and put mascara on without doing this. I mean, is that just me? I don't know where that face comes from, but every time I do it, it's this. Okay, so successfully not doing that at the moment. Now, what I love about this mascara, and I mean, I've had this one since the start of lockdown basically in the UK and we've come out of it now. So I bought this probably later in March um, and it's July now, so it's coming to the end of its shelf life. But it still does a fantastic job of just lifting, separating, no clogging, no matter how much I put on, it doesn't go everywhere. It's so evenly distributed across the brush. Oh, here, the face is coming now. Look, no matter how hard I try, that one is just set for life. Oh dear. I will never make a beauty editor, will I? Now it has got the little crown on it, just at the tip here for giving that extra lift. I can't say I actually use that very much just because I have zero comf competence with a, a makeup brush and that's why this is great for somebody like me who you know isn't very skilled at applying makeup this is foolproof and I can hardly see in this camera look how many times I've been layering this on and I've still got a natural ish separated look but this is how I get away from my um you know I don't really use eyeshadow anymore just because as you get older you know, I just, if I was good with makeup, I would probably be able to get some kind of technique going to um, brighten and open the eyes. But really for the daytime, I just apply a kind of thick layer of mascara to give me that kind of eye pop and I'm good to go. So there we have it. That's my take on Max Factor's Lash Crown Mascara. From my perspective, it's a winner. Um, you can buy it, as you would expect from a Max Factor product, in uh, pharmacies and um, supermarkets across the UK. If you want to have a look at the product details, I have included a link to it on Amazon in the video description. 
Um, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, there are lots more like it on the channel covering everything from beauty and skincare products to treatments and household appliances as well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.